Want Verizon's new 5G network access that's out and coming January 19th? You'll need to have certain types of phones. Not all phones will be able to connect. Got that for you today here, this article from CNET.com. Contributor, editor, Eli Blumenthal with the story. Right, so the we know about the C-band and the ultra-wideband delay due to aviation concerns and interference concerns with radio altimeters with planes. It appears that is all sorted out. We have a January 19th launch date for Verizon. So let's say that you are a Verizon customer. How do you get connected? How do you know your phone is future-proof for this? Kyle Malady, Verizon's chief technical officer, indicated to CNET how you can get connected to it and who will be able to connect to it. So he says, we estimate upwards of 90% of our 5G user base will be ready to tap into the C-band network. So why is that not 100%? If anybody has a 5G phone, they should be able to connect to C-band, right? Not exactly. Let me explain. So he says, right now, a lot of our customers' devices have the software in them. We've been testing devices. We've been working with the manufacturers for a long time now. So the software is ready to go. So here's what he means. If you have an Apple 12, Apple iPhone 12 device from last year, you're good. The uh, newest software upgrade, operating system upgrade enabled it, so you're all set. The 13 line is all set to go as well. They have the same operating system and firmware. The Samsung Galaxy S21 line that came out this year, or excuse me, last year, uh, as well as the Fold and the Flip 3s, they're good too. Notice you don't see the S21s mentioned, uh, excuse me, the S20s mentioned, even though they are 5G phones, all right? And I'll explain why. So here's also the Apple iPads with 5G, the iPad Pro and iPad Mini, they'll be ready to go. All right, so going back to this, there's a genera- two generations of 5G phones, actually, that do not have compatibility for C-band. So that would be the S20 line, the V60 line of devices. I don't know if you guys remember that from a couple years ago. Those early phones did not have C-band enabled. C-band wasn't really on the horizon so much at that point. So it didn't make sense for manufacturers and carriers to prepare for that particular band and those phones are outdated their modems i think it was like the x50 modem the initial 5g modem they were terrible uh even the x55 modem is a questionable or suspect modem right the x60 that you have in these phones here and the x65 that's coming out they're the ones that you really want anyways right so get yourself one of these devices if you don't have one um, maybe you do have one, you're good. I'm not sure what to tell you about the S20 uh, line, though. That one could be receiving an update. I just don't like what Samsung does with updates personally, so I don't know when that'll be coming, but it might be. And when it does, you'll be able to connect to it. Oh, and by the way, the Pixel 6 line, they'll be getting it too. I forgot. The Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, they're good to go. I think they've got a January security patch coming and that'll probably enable it. If you didn't get the December patch, I think you should be good. Also, make sure you're on these plans too. Play more, do more, and get more. They're the only current plans that offer it included. Otherwise, you're going to have to pay, I think, a $10 add-on for Ultra Wideband. Like if you have a legacy unlimited plan, like a 2017 unlimited plan, or if you have like um, the 05 unlimited plan. All right, so you got to have the plan and you got to have the phone. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if you're covered. Let me know if uh, this is going to work out for you or if you need to make any moves. Uh, Go ahead and sound off in the comment section below. You are the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard. Please do like and share this video if you appreciated it. Also, subscribe for more. Turn on bell notifications. Check out the links in the description box for what's going on with the community, the Twitter handle, the email address, my Patreon page if you want to support us. And uh, by doing that, uh, you can get early access to videos and exclusive content not found anywhere else and discounts on Los Mobile just for supporting us. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.